the prologue because I love prologues. I just I love getting free stuff, so if I can do prologues, I will. Um, yeah, so this seems cute and probably hopefully it's not like my last game. So let's dive right in and see what it's like. It is loading like a cigarette. <gasps> He's smoking in the bathtub. Just like what a raccoon would do. Trash panda. <laughs> okay. Very cute. Sorry, Mr. Call. Yeah, no problem. 27 on the buzzer. Okay. Just enough time to clean up. Okay, use A and D, or I can use some of my online buttons. Oh, A and D would be better because then I can actually interact with things. Okay, let's. Uh, ooh, living room. Oh, like a media set. This damn thing stopped working a long time ago. Gotta hit Frankie up next time. I'm in first deal. And when I have a cat, I'm gonna have cash. So never. Okay, notes on fridge. Call mom, buy soap, pay bills, don't die. That is a pretty legit thing. Photochemicals. Leaving developers in the kitchen is a sure road to poisoning or a great soup. Window. Hard to get tired of this view. Why is your bathroom in your kitchen? Weird. Toilet. Toilet. Oh, so my toilet is in like a little toilet box. The great apes. The great story. Swell toilet read. Yeah. Let's get back into the living room. Look at my refrigerator. I'm a trash panda. And I live in a trash house. Do -do -do -do. Okay, I, I don't like the fact that there's no music. That's insurance fraud, lost cars, and strange lovers. Should probably get rid of some of these old case files. Inspect desk. You can drag and drop items. Some items can be picked up by pressing E. E to pick up. No. Oh, I can only. Okay, what's this say? No? Okay. I can only pick up that? E. Oh, okay. Is, is that it? Is that all I could do? Well, that kind of sucks, doesn't it? Okay. I have to just tidy up this place as that one goes. Oh, place chemicals. Everything knows its proper place. <laughs> is, is that all I get to do? Okay. Because I can't inspect that anymore. Do, I, do my flowers need watered? They don't look like it, but you never know. Okay, let's see. Let's see what else I got. If I just move slowly, it'll come up with like. Window. Apes, I could use a quick smoke outside. Place. Did. I'll probably wash these later. Probably not. Okay, so I put my dishes away. That must be Miss Green. Office. She's gonna be dame. Like a foxy lady. No, she's a beaver. Okay. Excuse me, I'm looking for Detective Lothar. We spoke on the phone. I gather you have a case for me, Miss Green. At your service, Miss Green. How's your day going? That's me. You were vague before, so tell me everything, Miss Green. Odette, please. And it's a matter I'd like to be discreet about. All right, what are we dealing with here? You don't last long in this game with a loose tongue. You have something to hide. I wanted a professional, and you came highly recommended. That's good to know, so what's the trouble? Why are you worried about secrecy? I don't have anyone knowing. I've hired a grubber. I've been called worse, what's the case? <laughs> I understand this sort of thing is routine in your line of work. It's about my husband, you see. I'm missing, okay, he's missing, I'm listening. He's a cheater, ain't he? Oh, I'm so tempted, I'm listening. He just hasn't been himself lately, getting home at odd hours, making weird excuses. You suspect he's cheating on you? You tried to talk to him about it? 
Yes, but he gets difficult, like it's my fault. I just need to know if you can get proof of his infidelity. I need it for the court. Court? Are you filing for divorce? Tell me about the affair. I'll get you proof all dead. I need his picture and some information about his routine. Sure, what do you need to know? Where can I find him usually? What does he look like? Have you met any of his friends? What's his full name? How would I pick him out of guard? Have you met any of his friends? Like, they're married, dude. Where can I find him? He usually at work or at home. He never used to stop anywhere. Now it's all the time. So he acts out of character. He... He has always a private kind of man. Now he started getting home late, missing work, and smelling funny. Uh, what kind of smell? He's skipping work? And you caught him lying? How late are we talking? Let's do this, Odette. I need a picture and information. What kind of smell? Like perfume and not mine. Alcohol smoke and something pugnant. A kind of herbal stink. He's skipping work. Uh, you caught him lying? Okay, he's skipping work. I've had calls from his boss wondering if he was sick. I've even covered for him. I'm so fed up with this. And you caught him lying? Well, he's just so bad at it. He wasn't much of a liar when we first met. Or at least I thought so. How late are we talking? Way past the kids' dinner time. I asked what he was doing and it didn't go well. Hold up. He's been aggressive. I can't see how this is pertinent. Pertinent, yeah, you know what I mean. Mr. Lodger? Uh, let's talk about the course. Then you want to file for divorce? Uh, Odette, personal details can make a big case. I don't see how this would help you take a photo of my husband. I have to know how he thinks. I'm an investigator. I know better what's required for this case. Fine, he has a mean temper. Unpredictable. That's all you need to know. Okay, let's talk about court. You want to file for divorce? That's right, and above all, I need something damning enough that custody won't even be a question. Your husband wants the kids? I, I can't take any chances anymore. But has he said or done something to make you think he won't? This is a separate issue, one I don't want to dig up right now, because you're a beaver. It's the kids all dead. I really need every edge I can get. Evidence for a custody battle is extra, so... I think better when I know everything. He has threatened to take them, yes. Daisy and Elliot shouldn't have to go through all of this. I'm doing what it takes to protect their future. Odette, this is not your fault. I know this isn't easy, but it's right. I know you're right. Thank you for sharing. I know this can't be easy. Yes, I'm finally being brave for them, at least. Let's nail this bastard. I need a picture and information. Uh, what does they look like? Here's a photo. He's an otter, of course. A little stockier than you. He wears glasses, square ones, and his wedding band, as far as I know. Oh, and he carries a black briefcase to him from work. Have you met any of his friends? No, but he's mentioned a few guys. Says they get together after work sometimes. What's his full name? Jeremy Green. I think people at work call him Jess. How would I pick him out of a crowd? He wears a suit to work. I picked out his green tie and hat for him today. Where does he work? At the Wolf Bank. <laughs> it's dogs. Uh, on Granville. I'll write the address down for you. That should be enough. There's just a matter of my fee. I can give you a hundred now and fifty when you're done. Will that suffice? Yes, plus any ex unexpected expenses. Please be careful. If this gets out, I'm as good as dead. I understand. I'll get started immediately. Call you later tonight. Goodbye, Odette. You can trust me, Odette. Okay. New objective. I do wish they'd put in some, like, actual, like, mood music. That would be nice. Tab. My office. Entry. Information. Objectives. Yep. Inventory. Okay. So he looks like a beaver. Coolios. E. Loading. Loading my burnt out cigarette. Oh, this is cool. Granville smells like wet concrete. Overpriced fast food and puke. My kind of battleground. Let's have a look at the squirrel. Yo, old man. Take a look at this photo. Have you seen this guy? How's it going, fella? Just hang. What's up with you? You could say I'm hanging too. I'm tracking someone for a case. From my hanging to yours, peace, bro. Take a look at this photograph. Have you seen this guy around? Nah, man. Even if I had, why would I tell you? Well, I'll see you. Is this another? What does this say? 
from the one thick silver tongued devil of a mountain lion. When I go crazy and kill someone, I hope that I can afford him. Coolies. <sighs> Posters. The day I bought a bag, the life of a young handsome ape turns to shambles when he crosses path the dangerous man and he does it on his bike. Okay. If it isn't Mr. Howie, what's a rascal like you up to this fine evening? Hey, Anatoly, I'm looking for someone. You got a minute? My beaver, how are Estelle and the kid? I got business here on Granville. See you later. My beaver. They're both doing. <laughs> My beaver. <laughs> They're both doing just fine. Essie and I are good. Great. We even got a second lad juice soon. Oh, I got a great story for you. Another. Wow, you guys are lucky. Too, too many if you ask me. <laughs> I would go with one. Thanks, he's a big one too. Essie is as round as a watermelon, right? So I tell her, huh? Woman, you get any bigger and I won't fit you in the trunk of my car, huh? Great, can you answer a couple of my questions first? Heh <laughs> funny. Don't you think that's kind of mean? Howie, ease up. What's so important you can't let a friend tell a story? I'm looking for a guy. Here's a photo. Seen him recently? Pfft, I don't know, Howie. I see so many faces. I know those scrawny sorts like flashing their cash at a bite though. Have you seen him there? I look like the kind of guy to be in there. As he'd have my balls anyway. Howie, you're scaring off my clients, you know? Alright, thanks. And a dolly see you around. Vogue. They did a great job restoring the Vogue. If I, if people watched more movies, maybe the world wouldn't be so sad. Dr. Cyclops. Look at all that. They're so cute. Eden Simmons is the rising jazz star. I see her tonight only at the bike. Neat, should I check this out once I'm done with the case? Wolfbank. Wolfbank is one of the great looks. Banker. Yeah, how are you doing this pleasant evening? You folks work at the Wolfbank, right? Goodbye. Yeah, why? Take a look at this photo. Have you seen this man recently? Is jazz around? Goodbye. Is jazz around? And who are you? Oh, so you know him. Asshole owes me money. I've been looking for him everywhere. Private detective Howard Lodo. When was the last time you saw him? None of your business. That's good. Enough. Well, say hi to Derek here, because you two are probably not going to see your money again. Well, I'll find him and make sure it doesn't happen again. Seen him today? Hi, Derek. When was the last time you saw him? Yeah, but the wimp ass left early. He's scared. Derek's going to split his wig. Hey. Once something happened at work, where do you think he had it? Something happened at work. Heard his contract is not getting renewed. Bastard had it coming. One, did you boys spend time with him outside work? Where do you think he had it? He got a girlfriend or something? <laughs> wow, so loud. Yeah, we used to have a blast at the bike every Thursday until he turned into a needy leech. The bike, could he be there now? How the fuck would I know? Now skedaddle, Frank. I'll do just that. It's because I'm a raccoon. Call me a rig. The bite might not quite fit in with this fancy crap. Thankfully, I'm a charming boy. Let's go, Mr. Bear. I feel it. Oh, I get to. Oh, I get to. Howard, well, I'd be damned if it... Is that you? Larry, uh, sorry, do you know you? Larry? It's me, it's been too long. What's going on, old man? Ha, who do you call an old, you old rascal? Same old, can't complain. What's going on with you? Haha, <laughs> alright, that's fair. Plus, these rags likely don't help my appearance any. I didn't expect to see you here, to be honest. So, do you live here? Are you okay? Well, who really expects to see anyone of note in a black hat? In a black alley? In a back alley. What's going on? What are you up to? Uh, wait, do you live here? Liv, have you seen the tough crowd here? Haha, <laughs> I live at the bridge now. It's not as bad as it sounds, I guess. I'm so sorry, Larry. Can I help in any way? Not really, thank you, though. Now, what's your deal? Have you seen that otter guy around here recently? You know, I gotta tell you later. Gotta run. What did he do? Awful things to his pregnant wife. Can't tell client confidentiality. Nothing serious, just messed up his marriage. Eh, like they do. What's he like? He's tall, wears a purple hat. He's about my height, chubby wears a green hat. Here's a photo. 
haven't seen him, sorry. Let me know if you need anything. I'm here often and hear people talk. Thanks, I'll catch you later. Intercom, no answer. Cool. Okay, let's let's actually try the front door. I don't think it's gonna work. I'm not charming. At all. Ballistic bouncer. No entrance for raccoons. Goodbye. Perhaps a couple of loons would change your mind. My friend Carlos is waiting inside. Go ask him. I'm sure we can arrange something, but boy, what do you need? Get me a personal invitation signed by the great apes and I'll let you in. Deal? Uh, I'm sure. Bye. I don't know who the great apes are. It's, uh... Fourteen ninety nine for a tree of what men men would pay for something they could do at home with a pair of scissors. Uh press control to enter crouch mode, press control again to stand up. Oh Howard, come on over here, boy. You've mistaken me for someone else, officer. Well hi Downey. Hey, I'm in a hurry talk later. Hey little one, what are you up to? Found a job yet? I have my own yes, I have my own Personal agency, Dobby, what the hell? No. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. If only you'd cut the bullshit and come into the forest, you know I can arrange that. Poor Edna, jeez. Thanks for looking out for me, man, but I'm fine. Listen, I don't appreciate you getting into my business. Yeah, 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 you can go now. Call your mom. I will, bye. Okay, so that's why they want me to use control. Sneaking, I'm sneaking, I'm sneaking, I'm good. Rich people clothes, one sock is more expensive than my whole outfit. Uh, Foxy Burger, Foxy Burger. Once I got punched by a guy in a fedora who then puked all over my new coat and the memory this place brings. Boo. <laughs> Or bow. Good day to you, friend. Fancy some fresh news? Sure. Shoot. For a half loon, you can read them all on your own eyeballs. All right, here you go. What's the headline today? Front page today. Great eight parade preparations. Underwear celebration starts Friday. Hey, how's business anyway? Well, you tell me. People want their damn news for free, and damn hawkers won't help any. Why does it bother you so much, hawkers? You know, peddlers. They haul their trick. Your rickety improvised stands around and collect all the profits with nary a permit. The police booth is right there. Why does it bother you so much? I've tried reporting them before. By the time an officer gets here, the hawkers are smoke. Fast, tiny legs. Why does it bother you so much? Well, hawkers don't worry about bills or allowance, you see, so they can afford to sell cheap. Undercut honest businessmen like myself. Criminals. Gotcha. Better go then. I'll bet my tail that damn rodeo with seeds will be arriving any time, any minute now. Oh, cheer up, Bo. You have at least one well, loyal customer. Sorry to hear, man. Gotta go. I'll see you around. Man, you can be a bit of an entitled prick sometimes. <laughs> well, how about you buy something then? I've got nibbles, fizzy drinks. Actually, I just remembered I gotta run. I'll try to come by later now. Oh, loyal customer, my ass. Get out of here. Well, excuse me. Bye, Bo. You're a bit of a dick. Okay. Oh, I can, I can run, right? Run, 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 run. Oh, I gotta do that. Control, control, control. I probably do. Can I, can I run and control? No, I can't. So we'll let me into the bike. Tough break. It's really more of a cat and dog crowd in there. You said your guys and all over. That's weird. But any ideas how we could get in? Where can I get a good disguise? Maybe if I was a handsome cat. But what you could do is ask Johnny. He know better than me. Who's Johnny? Squirrel kid with the leather jacket. He's a pusher. I don't entirely know what his deal with the bite is, but you're, but they're chummy. What sort of stuff does Jimmy, Jimmy, Johnny push? Why would he help? Your typical like hype and shatter fag. Oh get this, he started rolling out something called monkey butt. Who comes up with these names? It's like they don't want you to do drugs. 
and you think this Johnny guide helped me, monkey butt. What do you know about the bite? All oh, right, that should be enough to get me into the bite. Thanks, man. Monkey butt. Yeah, word is this new thing's the shit. Though perhaps a bit less fernickety life. The one might wish. Stanky thing. The kind of herbal stick I've no first-hand experience, but I guess that could be a more delicate way to put it. And you think this John might take some convincing, but he's chill. I've seen him help people cut the line. His clients, I think. What do you know about the bite? Oh, no, it's a blood worth. So lots of rumors flowing around about the whole ordeal. Bloodworth, the Bear family, what kind of rumors? Crime family had a lot of friends in high places, then the head of the family up and dies and shit hits the van. Air ended up dead too in the aftermath. And the current owner is a relative? What's the owner doing? Yeah, she was a cousin or something. Whoa, what's she up to now? People say she's taking back the whole operation piece by piece, starting with the bite. All right, that should be enough to get me into the bite. You got it, Howard, a welcome distraction, really. See you soon, sure, Larry. Thank you, Carol. Sir, you'll soon, Larry. Hey. Mr. Larry, Larry. Okay, let's, let's talk to the squirrel. Johnny the squirrel. Johnny the squirrel. Hey, old man, are you Johnny? Who's asking? I am. Name's Wallace. I'm Howard Lauder. Pleased to meet you. You're Johnny, right? Name's Wallace. Maybe, bro, maybe. I've got... You got any shadow fang? Heard you got a monkey butt. Now he's getting spiked. The fuck? Where did you get that stupid idea, Striper? Girls were out. Will you help me out? Look, old man, you couldn't handle that stuff even if I did have it. Okay, just get me into the bite, will you? But you know where to get it? Just square things between me and the bouncer. You know what I mean? Just get me past the bouncer and I'll you. Hank doesn't let any chump in. For good reason, say I make you sp simpatio? What does Johnny get in return? Johnny gets to not be introduced to the cops, just the warm fuzzy feeling of doing your civic duty. Okay, fine, I'm a detective. I, my mark is in the bite. Um, P.I. isn't a bad guy to have owing you a favor. You shouldn't be proven, punk. I might consider not turning you into the cops if you help me out. You feel me? Look at me. I'm a raccoon in a trench coat. Do you think I'd ask you if I wasn't serious? Now scram. You have to trust me, Johnny. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. Ever heard of that? I don't trust stripies, let alone ones in trench coats. Why did you say that? You don't even know me. Bit rich coming from a bushy-tailed corner boy, don't you think? Johnny, look into my eyes. Do they look like the lies, the eyes of a liar to you? Yeah, so? All I see is filthy trash mobster who drinks alone and cries over his dirty magazines every night. Probably lives with his mama too, and the trench coat is just the final pitiful cherry on the top of a crap cake. What the heck, dude? That's rough. You don't even know me. Takes one to know one. We're hearing that from Squirrel. So much fur, gel, that he literally sticks to the walls, don't you think? The heck, dude? I don't need to know you to know your kind. Wow, forgive me? My existence somehow offends you? Potent statement. Read that in a book, Busher. Oh, you're pathetic. Would you get lost? Your fucked up face is scaring me. Yes, yes, I really, really do. Help me, Johnny. You're gross and weird. I'll get you in. But you have got to leave me alone, okay? Beautiful. I don't even have to do anything. I'm such a charmer. Ridiculous. Oh, I get to run. Run, 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 run. Okay. Here's Johnny. Hey, Johnny, another client for us to entertain her. Striper, you can come in. Don't cause any trouble. Thanks. Go inside. Oh my god, I got inside. <laughs> Jazz, alcohol, beautiful canine ladies. A little too high end for my taste. Renee. Well, you're unusual. Sorry, not unlike that greeting. I'll take that as a compliment. Sorry? You are unusual means you come with a story. I love a good story. Renee Wilson. Uh, Howard Lotter. Hmm, that's a fake name. You're too young for Howard. Maybe you're the one giving out fake names and you're projecting onto me. Calling it, that's a lie. You would have said that no matter what name I gave you. Well, I'm Howard tonight. Interesting theory. But I can back my up. See, business cards don't lie. Could be an elaborate use. You had those print.
wanted to do is the skeptics, investigative journalist. So living usually. It was lovely to meet you, Renee Will. Said I'll see you around. Have you seen an older gentleman here tonight? No, but I only sat down a minute ago. Got it. It was lovely to meet you. Hey there, you have you're here for Eden Simmons show too. I'm so happy to see you around. Finally, one haven't heard of her before. Has a nice sound there. Not quite. I'm actually here. Right? Sort of earned. Sorry, I'm looking for a friend. Have you seen an older gentleman? Here's his photo. Oh, I don't know. Maybe. But I wasn't paying close attention. I couldn't be sure. Oh well. Did you say Eden Simmons is playing? Enjoy the show. All right, listen. I'm a PI working in case trying to keep a low profile. Oh well. Did you say? Well, I'm probably a bit biased, but yeah, she's great. You sound like a big fan. That's the sort of music she usually plays. Does she play here often? From time to time, I like to play. It's very classy. The food is great. I've been here before, and they have good taste in music. <laughs> nah, my mom doesn't approve of this place. Had to do a bit of sneaking to be here tonight. How come, if you don't mind me asking? Good music sounds like it was worth it. Funny, that's something we have in common. How come? Yeah, I don't think she'd stepped in a bar in her life. This place is about ten times sleazier in her head. Sounds like it was worth it. Good music. Hard to imagine that. How oh, well you can be sure if you stay for the whole show. You know, I had to do my share of sneaking to be here tonight. I wish I could say, have you seen an honor of a gentleman here tonight? Well, kind of me intrigued. If not for the music, what do you sneak around for? Can you keep a secret? Yes, sir. I'm looking for a man. Here's his photo. I'm a private investigator. I'm working a case right now. No way. I would never have guessed. What's the case? The details are confidential, but I need to find out. Let me think. I think I saw someone like that walk in. Did you see where he went? I saw him come in and talk to the Afghan lady in the jaded color dress. Louis Hagrid. Oh, yes. And so was his tie. I thought that was funny. Did he have a briefcase with him? I'm not sure. Sorry. Dex is joined the ship. Audrey. Isn't this too dreamy? Just not looking for someone. Well, you sure are. Excuse me. God, I love this music. Wanna dance with me? I'm looking for a friend of Laura. Have you seen him? Not in the mood for dancing. Wanna dance with me? Mm, sorry. No. Can you at least answer a couple of questions for me? Alright. Have a pleasant evening. Ingrid. Well, hello there, honey. What do I owe the pleasure? I'm just looking for a friend. Just curious. You work here? Oh, I'm passing through. Oh, you really are new here, huh? A part of the Bite family for sure. You're an heir of hostess about you, but you're not greeted, anybody. So what exactly do you do? I'm a hostess of sorts, but I don't work for the bar. Oh, how very coy of you. Ah, uh, so what else? is here apart from the bar. <laughs> Can a girl have her secrets? I'll tell you this. Only our regulars get to find out more. My theory is you're here to bewitch the new clientele. Can a guy get a clue? Oh me, oh my, you've just the full extent of my talents. I'm sure there's more to you than meets the eye. I'll be back soon. Do, do. Clarissa. You look a little lost, is it? It's that obvious. I'm exactly where I need to be. How confident I don't recognize you. Not a troublemaker, are we? Do I look like a troublemaker to you? Nope, just trying something new for a change. Say I was. Nope. How's that working out for you? Pretty well. I'm enjoying the conversation, at least. Why the calculated interest? Phineas Mitchell, so who, to whom do I owe the pleasure? Howard Lauder, a private investigator. Ladies first, Don Wallace, nice to meet you. Ladies first. Ah, so you like to be the one in control. I can assure you that won't work in our relationship. Okay, private investigator. How exciting. Are you here on business? So what if I am? Wouldn't, it, wouldn't I be welcome like any other customer? I'm solving a case and I ended up here following a lead. Perhaps you can answer a couple of questions. Certainly am. Yeah. What, you got something to hide? <laughs> I don't think so. I would have to ask you to leave. Okay, should I make an appointment next time? Don't worry, Mr. Lotter. I'm sure we'll be seeing each other again soon. I'm sure we will. Goodbye, Clarissa. Oh my god, she kicked me out. Oh my god. <sighs> Clarissa. Oh, yeah. about it. Objectives. My staff has hiding something. Find a way back inside. Let's go round the back. Let's go round the back. 
Cause every movie goes round the back. Every movie. What are you looking at? Why are you here? Are you alright? Just need to get into that building there. Nothing, sorry. Are you alright? I'm fine, what's it to you anyway? Lawrence, right? Right out on the tag. I don't look fine, I'm just trying to help. Never mind, listen, I just need to get into that building there. You don't look fine. Said I'm fine. Get it. Get lust. Florence, right? Right on tag. You work at the bite. Listen, I'm private. Too. Could you help me out? Piss off, I told you. I'm not leaving till I get her back. Get her back. Are you looking for someone? Are you hurt? Do you need help? What? Hey, right. Make like you don't know. Not fooling me. No, sir. I'm on to you. I'm not moving from this spot till you let me talk to my daughter. Are you looking for your daughter? I think you've got me confused with someone else. I'm no fool. I know she's in there, but she doesn't want to talk to me. No, that's not. They won't let me see her. Listen, I mean you no harm. You just look like you could use some help. She had the bite. I'll keep an eye out for her if you manage to get in. Well, maybe I could. If you're really not, what happened to your daughter? Listen, maybe we could help each other. She's in that filthy, and I've been coming for days, but they say they won't let me talk to her. I'm her mother, damn it. What's she doing in there? Why won't they let to talk to her? Kid decides she's gonna make it all on her own, lands herself in a whorehouse, stupid. Oh, they're drugging her, I know it. <sighs> they won't let me see her, her own mother, my poor baby. I'll keep an eye out for her if I get in. What else does she look like? Why won't they let you talk to her? Say she doesn't want to talk to me, but they're lying. I know it, they just want to keep it all hushed up. Gray fur, name's Rosie. No, name's Rose. Drives her nuts when I call her Rosie. She just turned 20, you see. Didn't want to be a kid anymore. Oh, if they hurt a single whisker on my baby's face, I swear I'm going to burn this ditch to the ground. Are you so sure she's still in there? She's my baby. I know where she is. I can sense it. So she's been visiting the bike for. When did you last see her? Uh, told me she was waitressing, liar, asked her in this ditch, a filthy drug down for whores. Fucking liar. When did you last see her? Two, three weeks ago, we had a fight. So you fought about her job at the bite, and that was the last time you saw her. What about it? Nothing. I'll do my best to find her. Thank you. Tell her I'm waiting out here. They haven't told her, I'm sure. Do you know of any other way in? So you tried to get in? How did that work? Alright, thanks for helping. <laughs> you know, I've heard voices up on the roof, but how did you get up there? So you tried to get in? Well, I've been coming some days, right? And I've seen the side of the truck before. Guys, say this phase into the intercom and they let them in. What's the code? I memorized it word for word. Great fire, damn me. I looked at the wrong schedule. Let me in. Alright, thanks for helping me out. I better get find a way in. Please, if you see my daughter, just tell her I need to see her, please. Okay. No answer. is filled with cardboard boxes and smells like this. There's a weird looking recording device on the dashboard. The compartment seems to be unlocked. Open the compartment. You open the compartment and find a couple of newspapers and documents that look like invoices or checks. <laughs> Go through the newspapers. Two newspapers for September and October. They don't look like anyone was reading them though. Read the headlines. Epidemic continues. Geese may be spreading disease. <laughs> Vicious wall attack leaves three defenders wounded, one dead. Look at the invoices. They are all mentioned in a company called Starling Cider Limited purchasing unnamed goods from Bite Foods LLC. The most recent purchase is supposed to be happening today. <gasps> Try to use the device. It's a voice recording device hardwired onto a truck dashboard, probably set for some fate. So you might be able to print out the recordings if you enter correct dates. Select dates from the invoices and newspapers. Got three packages for you. Geese, damn you, I can't fit that many. We expected you two hours ago. Continue being an ass and I'll leave. Next. We have five packages ready for pickup. Three is all I can fit in the truck. You're four hours late. Leave me alone. Okay. I don't know how that helped me. Where have you been? We expected you two hours ago. Uh, great fire dummy, I looked at the wrong schedule, let me in. Damn it, I got stuck in a jam, let me in. This is a prank, get out, guess I was wrong. Oh my god. E. Uh, damn it. 
Get out, I'm calling security. Uh, okay. Get out. Okay. Last one. Apes, sorry. Can you buzz me in? Whatever, we got one package today. Uh, prepare them for the next get out. Uh, okay. Not one. Great. Come in and wait in the laundry. I'll bring them over once they're ready. Sweet. Okay. Freight lift. Dirty pots. This doesn't look very clean. I wouldn't eat here even if they didn't kick me out. Lift going up downstairs needs needs a turnkey. Okay. Don't get caught next. <sighs> okay. There's nothing else in here, right? Press control to crouch. Enemies can't hear you when you crouch and don't see you behind dark objects. Crouching it is. Do, 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 do. Green must be in one of these rooms. I have to be careful not to get caught. Yeah, you can't see me. Mr. Rat Boy. Getting some hanky panky. Oh. Private room. <laughs> Shit, I missed him. He's just been here. I can smell the monkey butt. Maybe he left something behind that could help. Painting. The green tie is stuck behind the frame. What if I can budge it? What the secret lift and green went in there? I wonder what's on the other side. Green hat. Green's green hat. Herbs. That must be monkey butt. To be honest, I imagine something nastier than herbs, but oh boy, does it stink. I might as well take a shot, get in there and press the button and find the guy, or maybe something more exciting. The club is definitely hiding something. Yes, indeed it is. <laughs> Open door. Where am I? A freezer, green one and an ice cream. Greg, if you're gonna swipe stuff for the girls, you need to make a note or you mess up the inventory. Intercom connected to the other rooms in the building. There is a list of extensions close by. Bio kitchen. Kitchen listening. <laughs> don't order pizza. Pineapple on a pizza. Are you crazy? Wait, don't go anywhere. Closed, but the hatch is wide open. Come on. Chrome you're using. Dial packaging, nobody picks up. Dial bar. Boy speaking. Hey boy. Greg, are you stuck in the freezer again? Yes. Or Abe's sake, call the kitchen, someone will get you. Dial kitchen. Kitchen listening. It's Greg stuck in the freezer again. Fucking hell, Greg. Hold up, I'm coming. 
Hang up. I think somebody's coming. How do I... Is there anywhere for me to hide? kitchen is Greg. Locker room, no sign of an order. Inspect locker. Gregory, could you maybe keep your papers on your locker? Sorry, give me a second. Okay. Apes delight. A cute little picture. And minutes for one. I don't know what that is. Oh, nope. 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 Keep your papers on your locker. That could be. Nope, that doesn't fit. So that. Okay, but what does it mean? V1A Escape E Greg, keep turnkey downstairs by your station Okay, still staying the same, so Press escape to find the numbers. Okay. What does that one do? Well, it needs a turnkey. I don't know why I'm so crouching. Okay, so we've got a one, a four, a zero, a five. 
So square goes first. Square, so zero. Circle, four. Diamond, five, one. Zero, four, 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 five, one. Yes! Oh my god. People are just. Yes! Did it! I have no idea where I am. It's dark and I'm alone. Don't know where I am, should I? Be crouching. Am I in a meat locker? Oh, e. Yeah, I knew it. Body. Green's dead. Fuck. What have you gotten yourself into? Wow. Oh. Okay. Someone cutting him up. Greg here. No, I'm still working on a cut. Ugh, okay, I'm coming. Turnkey, maybe I'll make it out alive. E packages. Delivery order bite foods LLC to Starling Cider Limited. I wish they would keep the music going because it is quite you know if they did like you know p like you know ellie noir style kind of music you know like escape oh he's vomiting okay i couldn't stomach it subscribe to me <laughs> not to me no um yeah go check out the game it was amazing and um i will be back tomorrow to do some more streaming and catch you on the flip side yeah